Hey my friends, how are you? Let's get more news from Steelers, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Giants and Saquon Barkley fail to finalize multi-year contract. Attempts to reach an agreement on a multi-year contract by the New York Giants and free agent running back Saquon Barkley have failed. The deadline for a new deal came and passed on Monday. The team placed a franchise tag on Barkley in early March. To date, Barkley has not signed the one-year, $10.1 million tender and is currently not under contract. Per Collective Bargaining Agreement CBA, rules, the deadline for any team to sign a franchise player to a multi-year contract was by 4 p.m. on July 17. After that date, Barkley may sign only a one-year contract with the Giants for the 2023 season, and such contract cannot be extended until after the team's last regular season game in early January 2024. Barkley has only two options right now. He can sign his one-year, $10.1 million contract or hold out. The Giants cannot fine him since he is not under contract. However, every regular season game he misses will cost him almost $600,000 in base salary he would earn under a signed franchise tender. But again, there can be no new long-term deal until January 2024. The Pittsburgh Steelers are interested in hiring Saquon Barkley. It is what it is, tweeted Barkley on social media at the deadline. The New York Post is reporting that the Giants' final offer was a three-year contract with an annual value between $11 to $11.5 million with $22 to $23 million in guaranteed money. The paper says both sides were within $1 to $2 million, but could not close the gap. Running back Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs, and Tony Pollard failed to reach an agreement to renew their contracts with their franchises before the NFL's deadline on Monday afternoon. Teams had until that date to sign new agreements with players who received the franchise tag. With that, the tailbacks of the New York Giants, Las Vegas Raiders and Dallas Cowboys, respectively, were the only three players who received the tag and did not reach a long-term contract, although it was already expected that they would not renew with the teams on time. Should Saquon Barkley and Josh Jacobs decide to play in the 2023 season, they will receive $10.1 million during the 2023 season. However, Jacobs and Barkley have yet to sign the franchise tag, leaving their futures uncertain. Meanwhile, Tony Pollard had already signed the deal in March to play under the tag, but has been seeking a renewal with the Dallas team since then. Jacobs and Barkley are unlikely to report for the team's training camp, which begins in late July, according to ESPN's Adam Schefter. And you fan, what do you think of the Saquon Barkley? Leave your opinion in the comments.